This is the citation for Lieutenant Michael Murphy. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty as the leader of a special Michael Patrick element Murphy with Murph was a United States Navy SEAL officer who was awarded the U.S. military's highest decoration, the Medal of Honor, for his actions during the war in Afghanistan. He was the first member of the United States Navy to receive the award since the Vietnam War. His other posthumous awards include the Silver Star Medal, which was later upgraded to the Medal of Honor, and the Purple Heart. Murphy was killed on 28 June 2005 after he left his cover position and went to a clearing away from the mountains, exposing himself to a hail of gunfire in order to get a signal to contact headquarters for relaying the dire situation and requesting immediate support for his team. He dropped the satellite phone after being shot multiple times, but picked the phone back up and finished the call. While being shot, he signed off saying thank you, then continued fighting from his exposed position until he died from his wounds. On 4 July 2005, Murphy's remains were found by a group of American soldiers during a combat search and rescue operation and returned to the United States. Nine days later, on 13 July, Murphy was buried with full military honors at Calverton National Cemetery. A workout named Murph was created in Michael's honor and is often performed at CrossFit affiliates, military bases, and Navy ships across the globe on Memorial Day. The workout consists of a one mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 air squats, and a final one mile run. Every year on Memorial Day, Pottstown Athletic Club, a CrossFit affiliate, hosts the Murph Challenge. The turnout is usually spectacular, but this year no one was quite sure of how many people would turn up due to the infamous COVID-19. To everyone's surprise, the pandemic did not hold back the celebration of Michael Murphy's life and legacy. The gym was full and ready to sweat, cry, and bleed. People of all ages, shapes, sizes, and athletic abilities came out to show their support and pay tribute to the memory of this great Navy SEAL.